We are learning the eight-year-old who died while in U.S. Border Patrol custody had the flu. Little Felipe Gomez Alonso died on Christmas Eve. He'd been detained with his father in New Mexico. He's the second child to die in U.S. Border Patrol custody this month. The White House says the deaths show exactly why the nation's immigration laws need an overhaul. Certainly, that's an absolutely tragic situation, something nobody ever wants to see happen. It's one of the reasons that the president wants to fix our broken immigration system. Uh, it's a treacherous journey, and we don't want to see people go that route. We are doing everything in our capacity to make sure that when people do come, that they're taken care of so that we don't have these type of instances. In many cases, they show up extremely dehydrated, without food, and they're seeing the doctor for the very, a doctor for the very first time. CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen joins me now. Uh, you know, we just heard Sarah Sanders say they're doing everything they can do. What are the experts you've talked to saying about how things are being done for the children that are coming across the border? Brian, the infectious disease experts I'm talking to say that that simply is not true, that there were some very simple and obvious medical steps that could have been taken here. So this boy was taken to the hospital with signs of the flu. The border protection people were very clear about that. He had possible signs of the flu. But from what we're told, he was not given a flu test. And so without that test, he didn't get treatment for the flu, and he was sent back to the detention center. So not only is that bad for this boy, um, obviously, in this tragic situation, but he then went back to a detection, detention center where he could infect other people. This boy had a 103-degree fever. I know at my child's school, you don't let a child back in school after they've had a 103-degree fever, but he was let back into a detention facility, which we don't know about this particular one, but many of them have been very crowded. Who knows who else he infected? So no, the doctors I'm talking to say they feel the opposite. They say that Sarah Sanders is not telling the truth.